катание на быках. Симпсонов. It's pretty quiet. You have to do it. Are you recording me? To do this before you die. I want to be the best in the world. Всем привет! Как специально для наших подписчиков, мы прилетели в Миссури Спрингфилд. Это середина Америки. Мы хотим показать нашим подписчикам что-то очень-очень необычное. И Саня, это который снимает сейчас, он нашел для нас интересную тему. Называется на английском bull riding. Катание на быках. целый день сюда из Нью-Йорка с пересадкой в Атланте. Пару минут назад мы сняли машину Ford Fusion. Заплатили больше, чем 200 долларов э, за два дня. Вот наша белая машина. Ждали долго самолет, и мы даже не понимаем, где мы, что мы и куда мы едем. Всегда общайтесь с людьми. Саша, он летел в Майами и разговаривался с парнями. И спрашивает, чем вы занимаетесь. Они говорят, мы профессионально ездим на быках. Мы этим зарабатываем деньги, большие деньги. Так как это национальный спорт в Америке, в Мексике, в Аргентине. решили купить что-то попить ищем гостиницу где мы можем остановиться чтобы набраться сил по дороге такая обычная америка слева справа идут разные бензоколонки товарные объекты и такое невзъебенно красивое здание сейчас мы остановились в гостинице 5 звезд но почему-то гостиница называется мотель 6 всего за 72 доллара это вам блядь, не хач всем доброе утро Поехали смотреть Америку. Самый неполезный завтрак, который мог со мной сегодня случиться. Вы знаете, наверное, все мультик Симпсонов. Они всегда снимают в Спрингфилд, Миссури, в этом городе. Сейчас мы им забираем знакомого, который профессионально катается на быках. Посмотрим, разрешит ли он поснимать у себя дома или нет. И после этого мы поедем на полигон. Посмотрим бычков, посмотрим, как ребята тренируются. Посмотрим, что ими движет, почему они выбрали такую сумасшедшую профессию, такое сумасшедшее призвание для себя. Мы приехали как к себе домой. Погода супер. Посмотрим, что нас ждет и правильный ли у нас адрес. Hey, 
start when they're young. They get on sheep and, and calves and stuff, and it's just kind of something that their dad did or the grandpa did. For me, I did. I started a little later. But you was at 18, right? I was 18, yeah. Hey, off. For me, it was something that I, I just, I wanted to try. Kind of a, like a bucket list, you know, just do it before I die type of a deal. Um, a lot of people, it's in their heritage, you know, they grow up doing it. You know, bull riding's been a long, around for a long time, you know, especially in America and the North America, you know, um, the cowboy way of life is, I started doing it just as a bucket list deal. But I, I like a, a to-do list before you die. Yeah. So today we go to Sherrock, Sherrock Firearms. Nice we can bring my, it to Germany. It will be nice for my, for my living room. Oh wow, man. Okay, bye. On a break from the airport? Yeah. We like had us. somebody in here you shooting bet, a commercial, bet. so you came in with that big camera and I was like, is this another crew? Mm -hmm. If you will, um, complete these. Loaded handguns must be kept holstered until you're in a shooting line. I feel like I'm a cowboy here. What's driving you to work here? Guns I'm a retired police officer. My husband is a current police officer, but he teaches the concealed carry classes. So our friends own the shop and they ask if I would like to help them. So I work here one day a week is all. Have you guys shot before? No, no, I never. You guys don't uh, shoot in after, Germany? After, after second war we didn't. <laughs> We are not allowed to shoot anymore. <laughs> Hi, these gentlemen have never shot before. Are you recording me? Uh, yes. They're okay. recording everything. They've never recording? shot anything? N no, I can hear you. No, I hear everything nice. I'll show you both how to work this gun. I take some mag out mm -hmm. and then to load it. You, ask, you are a police officer, right? Mm -hmm. How long do you have to study? Uh, the academy we have you got to have um, two years of college and then then if you get accepted to the academy then the academy is another like 28 weeks what is tomorrow on your to-do list um I want to go spelunking uh -huh. and cave diving I really want to do that and halo jumping that's probably number one I want to do I want to halo jump there's something about that that intrigues me what about fear I think for me when I think so about bull riding what what I saw in the movies I think this is very, very dangerous. It's unique to our sport, you know. I think there's a, a challenge there in having to overcome that fear. You know, mm -hmm. every time that you go compete, learning how to deal with it. You never overcome it in the sense that you're never fearful, but you learn how to handle it. And I think that's pretty cool, you know, mm -hmm. to be able to do that. Then the adrenaline part of it, you know, it's kind of mixed in there. When you know tomorrow you have to do bull riding, can you sleep one day before? Or? Um, yeah, generally it's not too bad. Um, when I first started, that probably would have, you know, been a bigger struggle. But the more I do it, you know, the more comfortable I get, and it's just kind of second nature. You know, just going through the motions type of a deal. How often you are doing bull riding? About every weekend. <laughs> How much is the membership here? Uh, they charge $25 a month, I believe. Um, for me, they, they sponsor me, so... Okay, show us how look your day. Okay. Like, what are you doing, your exercises? So, for how long we are here? Generally, it's between 45 minutes and two hours.
whatever gun you're getting from now on, just keep that finger up there until we're ready to shoot. The key is to nice, easy squeeze on that trigger. You don't want to just slap it because then it moves your gun around. So one more step or a couple more steps. There you go, that's better. Let's see, man. My first time. Two times, right? Yeah, I don't know what you were shooting down there. Pretty good. There you go, right in the red. Good. Can you kill somebody with this? Oh yeah. Right, right there? Oh yeah. It's not easy. No. <laughs> the balance part's the hardest on this. Uh, with my shoulder being as weak as it is, um, try not to overdo it on weight. The key for a bull rider is to get as pound for pound strong as you can. You don't want to get too heavy. That's it, you want to stay light. A lot of bull riding is balance, and those bulls are spinning so quick, there's so many G-forces pulling you to the outside or the inside. Um, the heavier you weigh, the more that, that's actually tugging on you. Sometimes you will get on a, a bull twice, and it is kind of nice because you've already been on them once. You kind of know their tricks, you know, their timing. But you never know how they think, right? No, no you, you don't. And they can do anything. I mean, they're animals. They can do anything. Every time you get on, you're reacting. You know, you can't really plan too much. Did you lose somebody? I've lost one good buddy of mine, you know, and I've known other guys who have, uh, you know, lost multiple people. And you want to try that, uh, the Glock? Is that what you were trying? Yeah. yeah, it's a police car, right? Yeah. That's one of the big things about it. Um, you have that big old heavy bullet, so it's not going real fast, and then you suppress it. Um, it's pretty quiet. Oh my god! <laughs> so it goes down or up? Oh, uh, it goes up. Fuck off. Thank you. <laughs> There you go. Good. What's say your family about it? Yeah, I mean, I my family supports me, and, and you know that's a great thing because you know I some, love it. some people struggle with that a little more. Tell us, please, about salary or about you. You are doing this main time, or it's your just hobby. Can you earn money? This is how I make my living. You know, this is how I provide for my family. Is writing only um, with bull riding. Yeah. Oh wow. So it, it can be difficult at times, you know, with injuries and and stuff like that. If you're training the right way, you know, and you're preparing yourself, you can make an honest living doing it. Um, it's a process, you know, when you get first started, you know, it's more, more of working towards that and so you still have to have a full-time job, you know. You start going up the rankings and, and the money is there, you know. Mm -hmm. The best guy in the world can make upwards of, you know, two million dollars in one year and you know, that's going to be at the very top, so, you know. In one year, right? In one year and that's mm -hmm. in earnings, not sponsorships and endorsements mm -hmm. and, and stuff like that. But, you know, you can make, you know, there's a lot of guys that make upwards of 100,000 a year, you know, that are, you know, in the top. But now that the bulls are getting so much ranker and there's more money in it, mm -hmm. it's causing the sport to grow. And so we don't really have a whole lot of fitness regimens that have been, you know, uh, taught or even developed yet. So this is kind of a, a process of learning how I can adjust your regular workouts. How many seconds you have to be on the pool? Eight okay. seconds. Eight seconds. Eight seconds. And then you win, right? Yeah, you'll play. So eight seconds, and then you'll get scored out of a hundred. And and when you do it twelve or longer, or nothing. Yeah, it's just eight seconds. So. If you, if you ride for eight seconds, then you get a qualified ride, and at that point you're just trying to get off, you know, as safe as you can. How much money did you earn there? That's, I was over there all last month, and I made about 9,000 there. 9,000? Yeah. For how many days? I was there for 22 days, and I competed, I think, 10? 10. 10 days of competition. The rest of the time, just enjoying the different culture. That was an experience, too. You have to show me everything. Okay, no problem. This thing right here is your safety. I'll push this for you. What do you think? Oh, fuck. <laughs> First time was a big time, right? Yes. Same, more or less. 
Он говорит, калашников еще больше бьет. How how it works with healthcare agency? When I compete at PBRs, um, they insure me, so I get I get a, you know a level of insurance through the the PBR. Bull riding it's pretty dangerous, you know, and and you do get hurt quite often. And so the Western Sports Foundation is actually a foundation, a foundation that is built on helping guys out when they get hurt, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So if they have to be out six months and they can't go work because you know physically they're not able, then yeah. they're able to help out as well. Some guys wear helmets, some don't. If you're born after 94, yeah. 1994, you have to wear a helmet. Uh, if you're born before then, then you get to choose. Those are kind of your major roles, not slapping the bull with your free arm and, and keeping your, your hand in the bull rope for eight seconds. And if you do it just right, and you find that sweet spot, you can really start you know, doing those moves quick. Yeah. I was born in Soviet Union. It was yeah. our dream. <laughs> Probably better shoot it, huh? <laughs> yeah. Crazy. You put your cheek down on there. More down here to be able to see through this. It'll be loud. Going up? A little bit. <laughs> Guys, how long have you been married? It'll be four years in June. He's been doing it since, we've known each other since high school. So I've kind of gotten used to it. But in the beginning, it was a little bit um, Yeah, I just thought it was going to be like a little thing that he'd eventually outgrow, but he fell in love with it, so. You are watching also every... Um, yeah, so I used to go with him every weekend until Kylie was born, and so now I just go when I can. Um, but I'm able to watch it on TV. We spend some time with Kale. In one hour we will go to the special place where he is doing training. Sorry man, are you with Bull Rider? Yeah! It's you? <laughs> That's wow, me. unbelievable. I can shake your hand? <laughs> You're not from here? No. Where are you from? From Germany. Germany? Yeah. Nice! I uh, see, I didn't understand you. My accent's bad too. How do you feel? I feel pretty good. Is this yours? Yeah. The younger kids will have to have their parent signature uh, sign off. <laughs> yeah, that was it. But he can't kick me like with the horns when I go here. You know, he can kick me like with the head? No, they won't no. be able to reach. When we got there, it was like 20 degrees and it was cold. Okay, now for the camera, you have to fall down. Yeah, <laughs> and break yeah, your you neck. Fall off. <laughs> yeah, off. Like the Germans tried the bull machine and died. <laughs> died. <laughs> this was his last shooting. <laughs> <laughs> Now a backflip. Backflip. <laughs> backflip. <laughs> you might see that tonight. <laughs> in bull riding, I want to be a world champion. Yeah. yeah. I want to be the best in the world, and I mean, we all shoot for that. In particular, I want to be a PBR world champion. Um, Cole, he rides PRCA, so that'd probably be his goal. Who is PRCA. today the champion? Today. Top, top one, top two, top three in oh, the world. Number one in the world right now is Chase Outlaw. Is he American? He's American. Number two in the world is Jess Lockwood, and he's American too. <laughs> but then the third uh, and the fourth are both Brazilian, and Joel 
uh, Vieira and um, Josie Lemme. Yeah, we had a good friend in January past, um, got stepped on in, in Denver. People die in this sport and uh, it's just not enough money to make that worth it. But if you love doing something, then, then it makes it all worth it, you know? They brought some bulls. We have to check which one I would like to drive. Oh my gosh, not this one, definitely not. Gena, you can tell us your last words before you do it. Mom, I love you. <laughs> The guy who showed me everything, he's 15 years old. And I think about to be afraid or to die, he, he's not thinking about it. He's just doing. And it's very good philosophy for us. Just do it, what you, what you love. And if you would like to have experience, you, you have to do it. That's what we would like to show you guys today. We would like to try bull riding. Let's go. What the fuck? Is it? Did you say <laughs> About. <laughs> Try to keep these out of him. Out, yeah? Yeah, because yeah. I mean, the more you touch him with him, the more he's going to act up. Strong word. Alright. Right over your head. Lean forward. Squeeze. You ready? Yeah. Alright. Go. You're good. There you go. Get out. You're good. There you go! Get out! Get out. Get out. Oh, oh, guys! Okay. Yeah. <laughs> How do you feel? I don't know. It's crazy. It's definitely crazy. Yeah! Now you have to hit me from the back. Oh, watch out! Go! Sal, we still were playing trash really quick with Slees. Yeah, we was asking you like how we get down, so. Saying, yeah, now we don't have questions. You don't have questions! <laughs> Just kick me off. <laughs> Feel good, I wanna ride bulls. Feel good? I wanna do my dream. How old are you? I'm 15. 15 man, you're riding bulls man, yes, it's unbelievable, sir. you know? People do it never yeah. like, in life. Like. Cole's my older brother. Oh really? Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. How much brothers do you have? Huh? How much brothers do you have? Uh, we have four. Four brothers? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Huge family man. Yeah. Everybody's bull rider? No, three. Three of them? Yeah. Okay, it's just one left. <laughs> yeah. Why not? Uh, they don't like it, think it's stupid. Oh yeah? Yes sir. What he's doing? What do they do? Yeah, just uh, one. We have body shop. Body shop? Oh, okay. Yeah. Cars? Yeah. Okay. There you go. Hustle, hustle. Get over there! Hustle!
ready for that one. That's all. God. Hey. <laughs> 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 you just stood there like, all right. <laughs> Just turn around and see your luck just lost. Because he ain't been hit yet. He's like, as long as I got the video. He ain't been hit. You don't have to sit around here. Slow down. When he jumps up, not your fucking head. There you go. There you go, Freeman. There you go. What do you train most in bull riding? Like, like your core. Muscles. It would be your core muscles, okay. and then second would be your growing areas, your thighs, mm -hmm. and then your arm. And a lot of Brazilians, they really focus on their arm. Right. But it comes from their style of riding. The best way I explain, somebody explained to me, they were, you play basketball when you're guarding somebody, you kind of get a wide base and get low when you get your core tight, and you can't, same concept, when a bull turns, he hits that leg, yeah. And you got your core and your arm. I did maybe 0.7 seconds. <laughs> hey, that's okay. My, <laughs> my first one I got on, it was like, he'd come out of the chute and I fell. so much fun, I had so much new feelings. I saw how people was together and, and we, we did it. We ride the bull. It was crazy experience. I have never felt something like this in my life. A few minutes before or 10 minutes before I thought, why not? We live only one time and I don't want to think tomorrow about why I didn't do it today. After this day, I know that I love United States. Time is right.